Hi guys, this is Irina. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to learn all the noun endings in singular and plural form in genitive case. As you know already, this case responds to the questions of whom or of what. In Russian, we usually use the questions with a negative particle that sounds as нет кого, нет чего, who we don't have, what we don't have. Чего, кого, чего нет, кого нет. Now let's look at all the noun endings in singular form in genitive case. Please don't forget that there are three types of noun declension in Russian language with their own endings. Okay? Good. Fox. Lisa. Lisi. Uncle. Dadia. Daddy. Shore. Берег, берега, sea, море, моря, elk, лось, лося, dinner, ужин, ужина, mud, грязь, грязи, embankment, насыпь, Насыпи. Russian nouns sometimes don't have a visible ending. For example, the nouns in masculine gender in singular form of the second type of declension and the nouns in feminine gender in singular form of the third type of declension don't have a visible ending. So, when we refer to such words, we call them nouns with zero ending, okay? In my opinion, it's not a very important thing in Russian grammar, but it's good to know. The nouns in plural form of the first type of declension will have zero endings in genitive case. Starting from this lesson, if you don't see red colored letters in a noun, that will mean that the noun has zero ending, okay? Now let's look at how the noun endings in plural form will change in genitive case. Feet Nogi Nok Mums Mamy Mum Hands Ruki Ruk Doctors, vrachi, vrachi, computers, computeri, computerov, sparrows, varabi, varabiov, lynxes, risi, risi, nights, nochi, nache. Very good, guys. So, how can you form a noun correctly in genitive or another case? First, you should know how the noun is written in singular form. You can use a dictionary for this. Second, it is necessary to know which type of declension the noun refers to. And in order to understand this, you should know the noun gender, okay? So, everything is important here. And after that, you can start adding an ending to the noun. Of course, you can follow this strategy only when you start learning Russian language. With practice, your brain will be able to learn a lot of words and it will form all the noun endings by itself. But before that happens, you should make an effort to achieve good results in the future. Now, let's look at all the steps you should pass through to form a noun ending in genitive case. 
Let's take, for example, a noun in singular form that is derivo, a tree. What is gender? Neutral, because the ending is o. What is the declension? The second type, because all the nouns in neutral gender refer to the second type. In genitive case, the endings of nouns in neutral gender, which can be je or o, will change in ja or a. In this case, the ending will be a. So, in the nominative case, the word will sound as derivo, and in the genitive case, it will sound as derivo. The nouns in singular form. Fox, lisa, lisi, ant, ciocia, cioci, window, akno, akna, table, stol, stala. Now the nouns in plural form. Tables, stali, stalov. Cars, машины, машин, books, книги, книг, mice, мыши, мышей. Good, and that's it for today. If you like this video, please give the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Take care, see you next time!